Today we're going to learn a little bit about the ribbon and the copy and paste commands in Microsoft Word. The ribbon is the display that you see at the top of the Microsoft Word window. It contains the main tools and commands that you can work with in Microsoft Word. The ribbon is composed of three parts, tabs, groups and commands. The tabs are along the top of the window just here, so you have the Home tab, the Insert tab, the Layout tab, and so on. And within each tab then you have various groups. This is the clipboard group, this group here. This is the font group, this group here. And this is the paragraph group, this group here. If I look at the layout tab here, if I just click on the word layout, you'll see that the groups and the commands change. So this within the layout tab, these are the margins and the page setup group. And this is the paragraph group. Today, we're going to be talking about the clipboard group on the Home tab. These few little commands here. Just a little bit of background information. A clipboard is a little temporary storage area in the memory of a computer for data that you want to copy from one place to another. It's completely supported by Microsoft Word and many other applications. If you're working with a lot of content, on a page, for example, the cut, copy and paste commands help move it around in a document, a file or across other office applications. Cut and paste are useful if you'd like to move an item, be it a piece of text or an image or an item from the web from one point in your file or document to another point. OK, now we're going to have a little demonstration of, of these commands or these functions. OK. The cut function removes selected data from its original position. Okay, it has a small icon up here in the clipboard group that looks like this. It looks like a small scissors. So let's just say we want to cut this word demonstration out of this line of text. Okay, so first of all, we need to select this because you'll notice that the icon is grayed out because there's nothing to cut or copy it. So first of all, we need to select this. Then you'll notice the icon becomes active. So I can do either of two things. I can click on the cut icon or I can go control X on my keyboard. You'll notice that the word disappears because it's been cut and saved into memory. Now if I click down here because I want to paste it, the cut or copied piece of data will be pasted wherever the cursor is. So make sure I've picked the right spot. So down here in this table here, I'm going to put the cursor there and now I can go paste because it's active for me or I can go control V on the keyboard. And you'll notice now that I have managed to cut the word demonstration out of this line of text and I've managed to paste it down here. Okay. Next one I'm going to just demonstrate to you is the copy function. The copy command or function um, creates a copy or duplicate of selected data while leaving the original piece of text. All right. So let's just say, for example, if I want to copy this word text here, again, you'll notice the icon isn't active for me up here. So I need to select the text first of all. Once I select this, you'll notice the icons are now available to me and I can go control C or copy up here. So control C. Now notice this time the word doesn't disappear because I've just copied it. And now I want to go down to where I want to place this. And if I go control V or paste, you'll notice that I've copied the piece of text. So these three little icons or three, three little commands go very much hand in hand. You can cut the piece of text to cut it out of where it is and put it somewhere else. You can copy a piece of text to copy it out of where it is and paste it somewhere else. Okay, the last command we're going to demonstrate to you is the format painter. It looks like this. I've blown it up into a little bit of a different size and it's up here in the clipboard group as you can see. The format painter is used when you want to copy formatting from one item to another. For example, if you have written text in Word and you have it formatted using a specific font type, color and font size, you could copy that formatting to another section of text by using the Format Painter tool. So as you'll see up here, I've taken the word demonstration, I've changed the color of it to red, I've changed the font size to a different size to the rest of this text, and I've also made the word into italics.
Now I just want to copy the formatting in this case. Okay, so what I need to do is I just need to, oh, sorry. I need to highlight the word and this selects the piece of text. And then if I just click on the word, the format painter command, just click once on it. You'll notice now that the cursor changes into what looks like a little paintbrush. Now, let's just say if I want to take all of this line of text and I want to make it into the same format as I have up here, I just select all the text and watch what happens straight away. Once I unclick, it changes the entire formatting for me. This is a really handy feature sometimes if you're working in a document and you want to put particular formats on particular areas of the text without having to go through all of the changing the font colors, changing the font sizes, etc. I hope you learned something from this little demonstration today. Thanks for listening. Bye.